Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobhanika. In this video, I'll talk about low power VLSI design techniques, specifically isolation cells and level shifter cells. First part of this uh, topic is already available. The link is given in the description box. In first part, I, I discussed about clock gating, multi voltage and power gating techniques. So in case of clock gating, clock is given to particular part only when it is required. Multi voltages as per requirement of the circuit on the chip, different voltages are applied to different portions of the chip. So not single voltages applied everywhere. In case of power gating, few blocks are idle for some time. Few blocks are continuously working. So in power gating, power supply is given continuously to the blocks where it is required or they are working continuously. Whereas the portion of chip which is idle, the power supply is not applied or it is uh, come, it is off for some period of time. So these are the three techniques which are used in power uh, low power VLSI design. Now let's discuss about the isolation cells. Sometimes they are called as clamp cells. So as discussed in case of power gating one part of the chip is continuously on because it is working continuously whereas other part is on for some time and after some time it may be off so here in low power design we may turn off major portions of the chips power leaving only one or few blocks power turn on why we do this to save the power the purpose is to reduce power consumption so that only required blocks are on and other blocks are off. So isolation cells are additional cells inserted by the synthesis tool for isolating the buses, wires, crossing from power gated domain to circuit which is continuously on. So power gated means the part of the chip which is on for some time and off for some time. So see this uh, diagram. Uh, so this is always on domain and this is power gated domain look at this domain continuously power gated means what this circuit can be on for some time and this can be off when not required now the output of this circuit is given to the input of the other circuit the other circuit is continuously on but if this circuit is off then output of this circuit is neither zero nor one it means this output is floating output and this floating output is connected to input of this g3 and g4 so inputs to these continuously on blocks are what they are floating so to avoid this to avoid these floating inputs we need to connect either zero to those inputs or one to those inputs and for that isolation cells are used so in previous video we discussed about power gating so power is temporarily off or on and here when it happens to one block output of that block is connected as input to other block then to uh, minimize effect of this floating inputs we use isolation cells between this always on domain and power gated domain so look at these uh, gates inserted here so in case of and gates functionality is if one input is one then based on other input we get output let's see here other input is one then one one will get output one if other input is zero then uh, 1 0 we will get output 0 so what we we make sure input to this AND gate will be 1 and in case of OR gate the function of OR gate is to add two numbers so we make sure we make sure that one input is 0 so that based on another input will get output like 0 plus 1 will get 1 0 plus 0 will get 0 so based on other input we will get output so in this way isolation cells this is power management unit pmu the isolation cells are inserted between always on domain and power gated domain so that inputs to always on domain will not be floated next comes level shifter 
cells as we discussed in previous video that multi voltage technique can be used what is power voltage into current so when we reduce voltage level automatically power dissipation reduces and that is why we use multi voltage technique multiple voltage is are connected to multiple parts of the chip so what happens when output of one part of the chip is connected to input of another part of the chip then output of first part and out input to second part their levels may not be same of course they won't be same for that we use level shifter cells so level shifter cells are special standard cells used in multi voltage design to convert one voltage level to another voltage level and like isolation cells level shifter cells are also inserted by the synthesis tool and types of those level shifter cells are low to high level shifters high to low level shifters and bidirectional level shifters we'll discuss each one of them in details low to high level shifters it means when output of low voltage domain is connected to input of high voltage domain so let's take an example suppose output of first domain is 0.7 for first domain high one digital one means 0.7 and for another level where one means 1 volts then it won't consider 0.7 as a one are you getting what i mean saying if for first domain 0.7 means maximum voltage maximum is digital one but for another level, domain or another circuit 0.7 is not one and 0.7 is not zero also so what it will consider it will consider the input i'm getting is unknown and for that what level shifter will do level shifter will convert that 0.7 volt to 1 volt so that the other circuit will understand this is high level input and that is job of this low to high level shifter next comes high to low level shifter it means if first circuit is generating high voltage and the requirement of another circuit is less see these level shifters even if they won't be used it won't make any difference because if for me 0.7 is high voltage or one any voltage above 0.7 i'll consider as one digital one but when my transistors see when uh, i'm working on low power when my transistors are working on low voltage then when and if i apply high voltage to those transistors then there will be stress on them so to avoid stress on the transistors of low voltage domain due to high voltage we use high to low level shifters so instead of 1 volt they they'll receive 0.7 volts only and next is bidirectional bidirectional level shifters so when dynamic voltage scaling or dynamic frequency scaling is used the voltage relation between the source and destination might change over time of operation and in that case we need level shifters which is capable of shifting both low to high and high to low so bidirectional level shifter means they'll convert low voltage level to high and high voltage level to low voltage level so it was all about low power vlsi design we discussed about isolation cells and level shifter cells isolation cells are used to avoid floating inputs to continuously on domain because the on off domain can generate output for some time and when the domain is off it will not generate any output and if it is input to another domain then input may remain floating so to avoid that we use isolation cells 
isolation cells generate output 1 or 0 and next is level shifter in level shifter it is used to shift level in it is used in multi voltage domain to shift level from high to low or low to high thank you so much for watching this video uh, please uh, share it with your friends like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching